everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. So my name is Julie and I am a freelance makeup artist based in the Fort Wayne, Indiana area and I'm here to share my tips, tricks, and tutorials with you guys. So for today's video, I decided to do a whole entire video just dedicated to me depotting things from my freelance kit into little containers. I will be actually linking every single container that I mentioned in this video in the little down bar below. I don't think I'm going to do like an official outro or anything just because this video I feel like is pretty self-explanatory um, but if you have any questions about anything that I didn't cover definitely let me know so I'm gonna get right into it and just kind of zoom you in a little bit closer to my desk here and I will show you how I depot everything the first thing you want to make sure that you have when you're trying to depot things is you want to make sure that you have some sort of spatula and you want to make sure you have a palette of some sort I usually use this metal mixing palette and then the last thing that is honestly pretty essential for depotting or just in general um, is this Inglot Duraline. But basically what you can do is use this. It's just a little clear liquid here and it either thins out products for you to mix in with it but what I like using this for is actually to bring back hydration to any of my cream products. I usually take this with me whenever I go to jobs and it honestly is a lifesaver. Let me just show you really quick how the Inglot Duraline works. So I'm gonna take the Inglot Duraline here and I do need more of this stuff because it's a miracle product. So yeah, again, I'm literally just gonna take one drop on each of these. So I'm just gonna drop that, 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 and in there. Again, don't need much of this stuff, which is nice. So you see how it looks really liquidy like that? You just don't wanna make sure you like overdo it. So all I'm gonna do is just take my spatula here and then I'm literally just gonna mix it in. It just helps out the longevity of your products and just so your products don't dry out and then you feel like you have to throw them away. I'm just going and taking them and cleaning up along the outsides of where I mix those uh, dip brow pomades up. I actually did remove all my color correctors right here because I hardly use them and I feel like they were getting kind of old. So I'm actually going to put in this Stila lip and cheek palette here. It's actually just a cream blush palette, but you can use them as lip colors if you want to. I want to put them in those spots. And there is five colors in here and there's five empty spots. So I'm going to go ahead and depot these. So usually what I do is actually scrape these out and then use them on clients. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start with the first color here and all I'm gonna do is just scrape this out. Okay, there's actually more product in there than I thought there was. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, but yeah, so then I'm just gonna put that in there. So now I can officially get rid of that palette, which is nice. And all I'm gonna do is take my q-tips again and then clean up around the edges because I did make quite a mess here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and label all these on the back. So this is my label maker. It's just the Dymo label maker. I'll link it down below. It was from Amazon. It was probably like $20 maybe. So we have Petunia first. So I'm just going to go... Petunia. And then when you go to the um, menu right here, you can choose how big you want it. So I usually keep mine fairly small. So I'm gonna do size 10 for this. And then you just click the print button here. And then what you do is you just have this like cutting button right here. So when you click it, it just cuts the label for you. And then now you have your nice label. And then I'm gonna grab some scissors really quick. Yeah, so you're gonna judge me, but I use hair cutting scissors for these. I don't know, I just can't deal with like regular scissors. But I'm going to just cut this a little bit smaller than it is right now. This is Petunia right here, so it's gonna fit on the side. So I'm gonna peel this off here and they basically just separate into two halves. And then these ones on the side are so awkward because they like have to come up a little bit because there's this ridge right here. So now we have all of our stuff labeled here. So what I wanted to do here was just show you, I guess, um, how I get stuff into these little dropper containers. These little dropper containers come from Amazon. I can link those below as well, but this is just my uh, benefit mat rescue. So I'm going to pop this off. So they have, I don't know if you can see this, 
they have like a little bit of separation right here and you literally can pop these tops off when they first come to you they have these separated and you can um just put them together Oop. yeah so i have a little bit of room in here i can put things in so this is the regular size of it and then all i'm gonna do is just squeeze a little bit more product into here what's really frustrating about these though is you have to like kind of like hit them so they sink to the bottom and that's with like all foundations too otherwise it just sits on the top so like you see how it's just like sitting on the top there and you have to like smack it down so it settles and then it just goes right in the container i'm just gonna pop that back in here and then now we're good to go and then that's the same thing you're going to want to do for all the foundations too. So if you end up putting your foundations in containers like that, that's literally all you have to do for it. So this is another one of those Set Tahiti palettes, but this is my lip palette. It's my bolder colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put another lipstick right in this pocket right here. I'm going to quickly show you with this MAC lipstick how I actually depot my products because a lot of people are asking me how I get these lipstick out. This is where your stainless steel palette comes in handy because what you're going to do is you're going to take your stainless steel palette and then you're going to take a tissue, you're going to roll it all the way up, and a lot of people don't know, but your lipstick doesn't stop right here. It actually goes about right here into the container, and this is not just with MAC lipsticks, it's with literally almost every single lipstick you do. Just because you have to have like your mold sit all the way in here, otherwise this would just fall off. So what you want to do to get this all the way out in one fell swoop is you want to just kind of gently grip onto this with the tissue you do need a tissue otherwise your hands are just going to slide on the lipstick and what you're going to do is you're going to slowly wiggle you see how that just separates there and like literally all that just came out also just a fun fact mac does have a recycling program that goes toward their hiv and aids fund it's called the back to mac program so basically what you do is you have any containers that are glass, plastic, and aluminum. So basically any of their packaging that's not a pencil that you sharpen, um, then you can turn back into MAC. If you collect six of them at least, then you can get a free lipstick. And then um, if you go to any one of their pro stores, I believe that you can get a lip gloss or a single eyeshadow. But everywhere that you go, you can get a free lipstick if you turn in six empties. So just a fun fact if you want to get free lipsticks. So then all you're going to do is take your metal spatula here and then i'm just gonna cut it into sections and kind of just like mush it all together if that makes sense like i'm probably gonna speed this up i'm gonna stop there and then all i'm gonna do is literally just stick it in this pocket here so same thing that we did with the concealers earlier and i'm just gonna pick it up centered here and then stick it right in there just going in with my q-tips and then i'm just going to clean around here so that's pretty much how you do it and then all i'm going to do is just label the back of this and then i did the same thing with the lipsticks as i do with my concealers and i just labeled the back of these with all the names on it just in case my brides want to know what color they put on them and that is how i depop my lipsticks in here and then the last little thing that I decided to do here, I might be very advantageous by doing this, but I'm going to depot all these Huda Beauty powders because I've gotten a lot of suggestions to put them in these little um, spray powder containers. So I got these off of Amazon and they just came today. So that's why I decided to do this whole video. Um, they're by the brand Juvitus. Yeah, again, they're more lightweight than these guys. And it's a little bit more user friendly because I can spray out the powder instead of having to open this lid and then open this and then put it in here. And then I have to spray this down with alcohol just to maintain sanitation. So hopefully this works a little bit better. Um, as much as I do like to have people know that I'm using good quality products, I want to be able to have it be, you know, fairly quick on the job because I feel like this wastes so much time. And if I can just spray it out and not have to clean up after myself, that would be fantastic. They basically are just spray containers, so they untwist completely. So I'm going to have a really good time trying to get them in the jar. <laughs> uh, but I think I'm just going to scoop them maybe with the spatula. And then these things, you like twist them to the side here. This pumps down. So then whenever you pump it, these things release on the inside and then pushes the air out. So then the theory is <laughs> that when you fill this up with powder, then they'll spray out of here. I'm just gonna start with sugar cookie here. 
This is the lightest one. It's the translucent powder. So I'm just gonna unscrew this completely and I'm probably gonna make a mess all over the place. I can already sense it. I think I'm gonna pretty much just take the end of my spatula and start scooping. <laughs> um, I think that's like the best way to do this. These Huda Beauty powders did have a filter, like a screen over top of this. And I completely cut them out because I made it a little bit more user friendly so I wouldn't have to like deal with the mesh part and like have it be unsanitary. And I wanted to be able to dump it out in that cap completely so I did remove that all together. I just kind of cut around the edge of the screen here. So that's why mine doesn't have them in case anybody was wondering. I'm gonna try to stop there um, because I feel like it might overflow if I go any further so I'm gonna make sure that's on tight enough. And just a note, um, I do have still like half the powder in here. So it did not go in all the way. All right, uh, so now I'm going to do the true test and see if this actually works. So I'm gonna see if it works on this palette. Oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh, that's great. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Yep, this is officially what I needed in life. And then I'm just gonna take my label maker and label it. And then I think I'm just gonna put it right on the front here. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> I'm honestly really impressed that these worked.